just found these things here. I haven't, I haven't cleaned it yet, as you can see. And these two parts here, they might be one, that might be part of that. Or probably they are two separate things. They could be pretty modern or they could be something interesting. So I need to give you the good clean. And so let's find out. Very intriguing. So I'm now at the edge of the water and I'm going to start with the small one with this one here well it's the other one waits there so let's see Okay, so let's go and clean the other one. Looks like a very delicate. Absolutely stunning, whatever that is. Do you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to clean here because I'm not sure what it is. One thing I know is I quite like it. Very colorful. That's absolutely stunning. Well, I said I was going to stop cleaning. I'm still here, so I'm going to definitely stop now and put it in a bag. favorite finds if not the favorite finds of mine and I'm taking this moment before I go and wash it it looks quite special because it has a oh god look there's a I think the gem is still there let's go and uh, clean it There you go, the moment of truth. Wow, look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh my god, that is stunning! Look at that! Oh my god, that's fantastic! Not sure if it's 
gold. I don't think it's gold. The metal is good, but look at the design. Oh God, look at that. Yeah, it's clearly not a gold ring. I doubt it. Let's see if I see any hole marks there. I could be wrong, but look at the design. And look at the, uh, could that be ruby? I'm trying to see if there is any hole mark there. But uh, it's not easy to see. It might not be a hole mark there. It doesn't really matter, but it's such a stunning ring. Look at that. Here's another ring I found just there by the water. That's really, really nice. There's a chain there and then the Roman numbers there, number five, six, eight and so forth. And uh, it doesn't look like it's silver because no hallmarks there. But it's a ring. So I'm pleased with that. Very pleased. Very polished indeed. It's actually a beautiful ring. I have no idea what, what the symbolism of those Roman numbers and the chain represent, but anyway. Lovely find, very, very pleased. I've just found something here and I hope you can you can see it I hope the reflection but can you see there it's something round there so I'm gonna turn this side maybe Of a, a pocket watch, maybe. Or maybe the frame of a, a 
approach. So shall we give it a bit of a, a clean? Yeah, let's go. Here we are. So let's hope. So you can see the two loops on both sides. Yeah. So it's um, it's a frame of some something. And looking at looking at that from this angle here, I would say it's a it's a watch, part of a watch. Maybe that's where the bracelet would go. And the glass and the watch are missing. Yeah, that's, that's where the wine, the wine part would have attached to. That actually scared me because when I saw that, it looked like a gold ring but anyway good find and right next to it there just found this looks like a, either a Victoria or one of the George's penny It's a very good low tide today. Oh, it's a Vicky. It's a Victoria Penny. There you are. Portrait facing left. And there are more signals coming out from that hole there. So I'm going to keep going. There might be some more coins there. Back in a minute. Here is a group of four finds and they all came up from the same spot. This particular one here, as you remember, was really in thick mud. So when I first picked it up, I thought perhaps I had my first Saxon hoard. And uh, so I had really high hopes that, you know, it could be something rather special and then you take them home and then you wash them and then you you're not disappointed because any find is a find but then you realized that it's not a very special find but it's just a an ordinary find and some other times you pick up something which you're not so sure what that could be but then you keep it which was the case here i picked it up thinking oh it's a it's an old nail so i'm gonna keep that and then i realized that it's not an old nail This tiny dancer, or a ballet dancer, or a ballerina, is made of pewter and it would have been attached, I would have thought, to the top of a container. And the last of the four is this very nice looking ring here. Surprised me big time because 
I was in an area not particularly very close to a bridge and I tend to find rings or most of the rings I have found in the Thames for sure they came from areas which are close to a bridge so I believe they were thrown in the river from the bridge so that's why they stayed there for years and, uh, and years and uh, but this one here in particular it was actually anywhere near a bridge so it took me by surprise when it popped up as you saw in the clip earlier and uh, so I'm really pleased with these uh, four finds here all from the same part of the Thames foreshore I sent some of these photographs to the finds liaison officer who helped me to identify as a low carat gold or gold plated ring date wise it could be early to mid 1900s and the stone could be garnered I'm really pleased with this ring the pewter tiny dancer would probably have been attached to the lid of a, a container or a music box and date wise uh, maybe late 1800s to early 1900s. The so-called Saxon hoard turned out to be modern costume jewellery and that uh, brooch I believe and the one below could be a clasp and both I would have thought Hindu offerings given to the River Thames. The pattern I couldn't actually find an identical one online but it indicates that it could be the Royal Fusiliers so it could be part of an uniform date-wise 1700s to 1800s the modern stainless steel unusual design Roman numeral and spinning chain ring I've done a bit of research and the meaning of those symbols there apparently it has a calming effect on the body and soul if you wear that increasing good karma during your meditation This frame of a watch I found is uh, made of gilding, so it's not a gold frame of a wrist watch or a pocket watch. Date wise, it could be around eight, mid 1800s to early 1900s because I found an identical one online, or the frame anyway and date wise of that particular one it was late Victorian so the frame is gilding and the design is a gentleman's watch you would have been worn by a man objects like that are very personal because someone would have carried that in there in his, his pocket and it's almost like a ring so it tells us a story uh, so how long did that person have that watch why did that end up on the Thames for sure how much did he pay for it and what was the sentimental value of that to the person Here is a coin of Queen Victoria and the year is 1892. That was the final, fourth and final year depicting the young Queen Victoria on British coins. The new portrait would then be known as the old head, the veiled or widow head until the Queen's death on the 22nd of January 1901. 